Welcome to our tutorial about data grid control. Data grids display information in a way that's similar to how MS Access displays information. First, let's go establish a database connection, select data, and add a new data source. Let's select database and click Next. New connection. Let's change this to an Access database file and browse for our database. Open. Test connection. Successful. OK. Next. We don't want to copy the file at this time. No. Next. Now we'll create a data set. We'll select both tables, Team A and Team B, and click Finish. Let's go back to Data from the main menu, Show Data Source. Let's pin down the Data Sources panel. This drop-down menu gives me two options, Data Grid View and Details. We're going to use Data Grid View. I'm going to grab the Data Grid control onto my form. Now let's change its appearance. First, let's preview our data. Click the Preview button. This is how the data is going to look in our data grid. Let's close the Preview Data window. Now let's remove all the columns except for ID, first name, and last name. Just click Remove and click OK. Let's run our application to see how it works. Once again, we have a navigation bar. We're able to add data with this plus sign, delete with the X, and save data with this icon here. Now let's bring in a second data grid control. We're going to use the Team B table this time. Select the data grid view. Let's drag and drop it right here. Let's edit this data grid control as well. Preview. Preview again. Let's remove all the columns except name and last name. Edit columns. Remove, remove. Let's make the last name column a read only column. We change the read only property to true and click OK. Let's add a query now. Select the Query Builder. We're going to sort our data by first and last name. It'll be in ascending order. And this will be sort order number two. Now let's execute our query. Everything seems to be fine. Let's click OK and OK. Now let's reposition our controls. Oops. OK, something like this. Let's run our application. Now what's happened here is that the navigation controls only work with Data Grid 1. However, the Sort button sorts Data Grid 2. I forgot to rename it here. Let's end the program. And let's bring in a second navigation control. Go to our toolbox. Under the data branch, let's grab binding navigation. And we'll drop it right here. Now we have a second navigation bar. And here's a binding navigation control button. Lastly, let's change the binding source property for binding navigator 1's control. We'll change it to Team B binding source. We're ready to run our application again. Now we've got two navigating bars which work with corresponding data grid controls. We also need to add a save button. 
Instead of adding a button to the tool strip, I'll just use a regular button. Let's drag it onto our form. We'll change the text property to save. Double click on the button. And let's simply scroll up. I want to copy these three lines of code. Right click and copy. I'm going to paste them here. Right click and paste. I need to change the Team A binding source to Team B binding source. Function End Edit. The last line uses the Update All function to update the entire database. Let's run our program to see how it works. Let's say I want to change the first letter here to an uppercase T. Let's click Save. Now let's restart the program to see if it's saved. As you can see, here it is. The reason I restarted the program is because this deletes the info from the data set. Think of it like an ultimate test. But now you probably think maybe all of this looks shiny and good, but what does it actually mean? Well, let's rearrange our screen a little bit. I want to review all the components that make this application run. We're going to start from my database dataset control. We already know a dataset is a temporary storage of database info. Basically, data gets stored here while we're working with the application. And when we're done working with the application, the data can be transferred to a more permanent storage or to the database itself. The next control we have here is the binding source. This control is responsible for synchronizing the information or data between the data set and the interface. For example, the binding source control is what lets us see the first name, last name, and the record ID all in the same line. The next control we have here is the binding navigator. The binding navigator corresponds with the binding toolbar. It propagates action taken by the user or between the data set, the binding source, the table adapter, and the interface. As you see, the user has a whole bunch of controls here. Navigate, create new record, delete record, save to database. Another control we have here is the table adapter. The table adapter is responsible for connecting a tool database and for retrieving data from the database and passing it along to the data set, as well as getting information from the data set and recording it back to the database. The last control here is the table adapter manager. This is a new component for Visual Studio 2008. It's responsible for manipulating more than one database table in the program. And this concludes our tutorial about data grid controls.